What's up, Shedog fans? Today we are catching up with UFC fighter Pedro Munoz, who will face Dominique Cruz in next UFC 269. How are you, my friend? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It's always an honor to talk with you guys and, you know, get a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, Pedro, I was looking to your share dog and, and I found out that you, you with Dominique Cruz, you're going to be facing five champions, former champions, in six fights. <laughs> Tell us about that. How, how do you feel about that? Yes, that's true. That's true. That's going to be my... I didn't know that, to be honest with you. It's just a lot of reporting saying that. So I thought it was something really interesting. You know, I don't count uh, stuff like that. What I like to do is always like try to improve so I can give always my best performance, you know, that night. So with that, you know, I'm very, very glad that I can be able to always deliver a good fight, you know, and like I'm a guy that UFC is always keep us on track and calling me asking for fights and you know i and then i like what i do marcel i have fun training i have fun fighting you know and um with that you know i gotta be able to do to do what i love so it's why not so let's do it yeah great and just telling uh, share dog fans we have a uh, cody garbrandt you fought in 2019 then you, you, you TKO him in the first round. Then you lost to Aljamain Sterling on June of 2019 again. And then on August of 2020, you faced Frankie Edgar and you, you lost via split decision. It's a very controversial fight. Then you defeated Jim Rivera in February of 2021. And then in your last fight, you lost on August to José Aldo uh, via unanimous decision. Now facing, facing Dominic Cruz, a guy known for his uh, excellent uh, uh, angle cuts and everything. He's a very tall guy for the division. For many, he's the best uh, of the division all times. And how, how do you see the fight against him? Yes, Marcelo, that's true. You know, definitely all the props you gave to Dominic Cruz is exactly what it is. You know, he's a legend, uh, a former champion, uh, a very, very unique style of fighting. And, and that's really interesting. You know, I think that's what I was very, that's what, that's, that's one of the reasons that I was very excited when this fight got announced because I was, you know, going to be able to fight another former champion. So for me, it's a huge, um, it's a huge uh, glad and honor to be able to do that and be able to display to fight with the best fighters in the world and that's what I have been doing and I think my style uh, against Dominic Cruz is a style that it's going to be very interesting you know Dominic Cruz has a unique style like we all know his wrestling is really good but also a lot of people know that you know my my, my background uh, all the victories that I have over submissions is something that I still train and still getting better every single time. So um, and I also have been practicing, I have been practicing a lot of different things that I was able to learn in my preview fights against Aldo, against Jimmy, all these battles that I have been. So it, 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 it turned out in a good way because I believe that every single time that I step in the octagon, I'm a, I'm a better fighter, you know, I'm always better than I was the fight before. Uh, he lost the last two fights uh, among three he had fought before, the Mick Cruz. He lost two for Henry Cerrudo and Cody Garvin. How do you see yourself more like Henry Cerrudo or more like Cody Garvin against him? Yeah, that's a good match right there. You know, there are two guys that fight a little bit different than one another. You know, and Sehudo and Cody Gabriel and myself, I have my unique style too that I can, I believe that I can capitalize, use a little bit of both sim similarities, not all, but simila sim similarities of different games and also put, you know, I have like a um, good position, 
that is very specific to my game that's gonna play a huge uh, surprising um, on December 11th. Uh, Munoz, you already faced uh, Hobby Fonte. You submitted him with a guillotine in the first round. And you just come from a fight with Jose Aldo uh, decision. You lost via decision. How do you see that, fi that, that fight, that matchup, that's going to happen in the main event of UFC of next Saturday? Yeah, it's going to be a huge fight. You know, both fighters, they're good. I was very honored to, to, to be able to fight both of them. You know, they have a different style. Aldo, you know, in my point of view, he is, once upon a time, he was the best pound for pound. So he's definitely, that's a, that's a, that's a huge statement only, you know, just by himself to, to, to be in a, such a high caliber fighter. And Robbie Fon too, I believe he's going to be, he's going to have, him, he's going to give him Aldo some hard time because he's a long guy, tall, you know, uh, we fought a few years ago. I'm sure, and then I saw his improvement on his previous fight. You know, he's an incredible fighter, and and that's gonna be a really good fight. That's gonna be a really good fight. I'm, I'm looking forward to watch, and I believe the winner is definitely gonna be the next challenger. Uh, what about Dustin Poirier, who will face? Oh, your daughter. Yeah, my daughter. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. What about? How are you? <laughs> She speaks Portuguese. She speaks Portuguese. For Kito, man. For Kito, man. Bye-bye. All right, let me go back to Kirby. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, I was talking to you about uh, the main event. Charles Oliveira and Cody Garbrandt. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Dustin Poria. You train with Poria in American Top Team. Can, are you able to see his training, his, his camp? What do you expect for that fight, for the main event of UFC 269? Yeah, that's another fight that, you know, it's going to be a really good fight. Both fighters, you know, they're being in this organization for many, many, many years. They have a lot of wars on their, their resume. You know, Charles has been proved tremendously. So Dustin Poirier to have, you know, be corner McGregor twice, two wars back to back with Max Holloway, you know, another fighter that I think it's, a, you know, one of the dangerous guys out there also. And it's going to be very interesting, you know, Dustin Poirier um, trains an American top team as well. We have a different, little bit different schedule, you know, and he trains different coaches than I do. And... Yeah, that's going to be a, a fight that I believe that a lot of people they're expecting and it's going to be fireworks for sure. Great. And, and I have to ask you also about your category, your division. It's a pretty uh, confusing right now. Al Jamein was uh, the, the former champion, the, the, the current champion, and, and then Petrian defeated Cody Samhagen in a war and, and Petrian got the interim belt and probably Petrian will face TJ Dillashaw. How do you see that division right now? You already, I assume you, you already training with Petrian in American Top Team. How, who do you see as a champion? Uh, imagine that Petrian will face TJ Dillashaw and later he will face Aljamain Seth Sterling. So, who do you see as a future uh, a champion of Bantamweight division in the end of 2022? For sure, Marcelo. Um, you know, it was, a, it was unfortunately what happened, the fight, the first, first fight, Peter and Aljamain Sterling, you know. Um, Aljamain started the fight really good, and then in the second, the third round, Peter and starting showing a little bit more aggressiveness, let's say, a little bit um, better skills and some things, but it doesn't take away Aljamain's skills. Hell of a fighter, you know. Passing that fight, fought TJ Dillashaw. A lot of people were saying after two years, 
he came back and people were not sure how it was coming back and he expected and he surprised a lot of people I guess by the way he fought Sadie Hagen another well-rounded really good fighter and uh, such a war that we were able to to see it and after that another one of the biggest fight that I saw in my division Peter and Sadie Hagen so it's definitely a division that's a lot of killers, a lot of monsters there. You know, now we're seeing Fon and Aldo, which I think this is going to, whoever wins that fight is going to be the next challenger. So it's a, it's definitely a division. If I don't see the most excited division UFC, it is definitely somewhere there. So do, do, do you think, what do you expect from Petria and, and TJ? Who do you think is going to win? You know what? Um, that's, a, that's, a hard, that's a hard fight to call. But I think by what PDA has been showing lately and how much he has been proving, TJ also, but I was, I was impressed with Peter Yen on his last fight. So I will take a guess, Peter Yen. Thanks a lot, Pedro. And anyone you would like to call in case of win over Dominic Cruz next Saturday? I, I want to just be there Saturday, fight my 100%, you know, bring this victory again, and then take a, take a couple weeks off. And then I would thinking what the next move would be, you know, so definitely... I'm I'm definitely not looking over Dominic Cruz. Um, we never I would never underestimate any fighter. So I'm, I'm focused. I'm focused for this fight. The only thing that I can't talk right now and can think is about my next challenge, and that will be December 11 against Dominic Cruz. Thanks a lot, Pedro. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Good luck in your fight next Saturday. Thank you, Marcelo.